Cashmere is the nation's number one Led Zeppelin tribute show, and they're coming to the Southern Tier this weekend for two shows Saturday night at Tioga Downs Casino in Nichols, one at 7 p.m. and one at 9 p.m. And we have Gene Violet on the whale line with us. He is the Robert Plant of the group, correct? Yep, that's me. How you, you doing, man? I'm doing good, Gene. Hey, you know, this is not a band playing some classic rock cover tunes. This is a group of musicians that are performing music from one of the greatest rock bands in the history of rock. So what kind of dedication do you need to pull off a production like this? Um, Lots of practice. I mean, I give kudos to any band that can play Led Zeppelin. Especially, you know, there's a lot of Led Zeppelin tributes out there. So just the fact that you can play a full set of Led Zeppelin and do it successfully, then kudos to you. Yeah, a lot of bar bands don't like to cover groups like Led Zeppelin. So when you do the show, do you chronologically go through Led Zeppelin things, or you just pick songs here and there? You know, you know what it is. Through uh, the band's been together for almost 15 years, so we kind of got a feel of the songs that work and the songs that don't work. So we try to play the most popular songs from Zeppelin, and then throw in a couple obscure ones when we get a chance. You know, for the hardcore fans. But you got to play for all the masses. You can't play. You know, like we've had requests for Achilles' Last Stand, and I like the song, but there's maybe five percent of the audience that's going to even know what that song is. So, Gene, tell us about the band, the other guys in Kashmir. Are you guys all from the East Coast here? Yeah, the band started in New York City. All the guys were from New York City at the time. We've kind of, several of us have migrated to different locations. I now live in uh, Maryland. The band was formed, I was uh, kidding around with a buddy of mine when I used to live in New York City back in 1999. And we played in Manhattan uh, in Kenny's Castaways because we both lived in New York and we thought we would play Zeppelin just for fun. And uh, it, it kind of like developed into we were getting a lot more people coming to our shows and then I saw the potential and I decided to create a band called the Kashmir and from that day on I started uh, expanding from New York City We've played as far west as uh, Sturgis, and we've played as far north as uh, Canada and as far south as uh, Texas And Gene, how authentic is the show in terms of you know aesthetics and imaging and instrumentation? I'm pretty tight on. The one thing is I, I look quite a bit like Robert Plant. What we try to do, with, uh, I, I call it our shtick. Each band has their own little shtick. We, what we're doing is we're trying to replicate, as if you went back in time to, like, say, 1975 and you saw a Led Zeppelin show. We want to push through the live Led Zeppelin experience. You know, the before you went to the show, everybody got excited. Um, then you would hang out, uh, see the show. And then after, you had the buzz from the show. So... We play the songs pretty tight, as close as the record, but we also like to use uh, a little bit of live feeling to it. And so we sometimes do what Zeppelin did, like if you listen to some of the BBC recordings, we'll throw in some live little jams and little things like that, just because we're trying to make it a little bit different than, you know, if you want to listen to Zeppelin exactly like Led Zeppelin, I'm sure there's some bands that you could do that, or you could just listen to a CD, but we're trying to make it like you're going to a live Led Zeppelin concert from 1975. So how often do you take the show on the road? Do you tour for like months at a time? No, we call ourselves Weekend Warriors. We play usually on Fridays and Saturdays. We work, most of us, you know, during the week. Our thing is we want to have a good time. We love doing it. We uh, make a lot of people happy, and that's the most important part. It's like I get to be treated like Led Zeppelin for a weekend, so I love it. Not a bad way to occupy a weekend, that's for sure. So what are some of your favorite Led Zeppelin songs that you guys play in Kashmir? I really like this thing right now. I love doing Babe, I'm Gonna Leave You. And I've always loved doing, we do a medley, um, whole lot of love communication breakdown. Mm -hmm. so every time that we do that, it's like all of a sudden, it's, a, it's like a shot of adrenaline that goes into the audience in the room. And you could just feel the electricity while we're playing it, as well as as soon as we're done. If you haven't woken up after that, then we're going to have to get a distributor. I think the crowd will be up for it, and we're excited. I'm going to be there actually going to introduce the 7 p.m. show, so I'll look forward to seeing you guys too, Gene. Yeah, great. We're looking forward to it too. We used to play a lot up in the Baldwinsville area, mm -hmm. and uh, it's been a while, so if anybody from Baldwinsville uh, listening, we would definitely love to see you guys. Well, we look forward to it as well. Seeing Eugene Violet, Andy Urban, Paul Cooper, and Felix Hanneman. Felix Hanneman. Remember the band Zebra? Yes. 
Yeah, he's the bass player in Zebra. So <laughs> you'll get to see uh, if any Zebra fans are out there. We usually always do a meet and greet after our shows. You can come and meet Felix and meet the rest of the band. He'll sign autographs, shake your hand. He usually gets a huge following of fans that come just to see him as well. Sounds terrific. So as we wind down the interview, anything, Gene, that you want to say in closing? Um, just the whole thing is we try to replicate a live Led Zeppelin show, bring your uh, grandkids, you know, if they can get in if they're old enough. And it's one of the things that we try to push is it's something that you can bring, like your son and his son or his daughter. Your whole family can come and share the, the same experience that you did back in the 70s. Uh, we see it all the time that I'll see uh, a 60-year-old person with their sibling and then they'll have their sibling and they're all sharing the same experience which is very very hard to do nowadays cashmere nation's number one led zeppelin tribute show coming to tioga downs casino and nichols this saturday night for two shows seven and nine p.m tickets available hope to see you there and gene thank you so much again for talking with us and uh, we're looking forward to rocking out with you on saturday yeah we're looking forward to it we'll see you on saturday night